Is Greg going to be the next Bachelor? According to Reality Steve, yes. According to Mike Fleiss, no decision has been made. We're breaking down all the possibilities. Hey guys, welcome back to another Share News From Home. Bachelor Nation has been dying for news of who our next Bachelor will be, and it looks like we might have an answer. We're gonna break down all the details, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host Fiona Zaring and I'm joined by the wonderful Mariah Davis. Mariah, so many names from Katie's season have been discussed as potential bachelors. Andrew S., Michael A., Greg, and even Justin have found support online. Before we get into, you know, the Greg of it all, who have you been hoping for? Who did you think had the most hype around them to be the next bachelor? Honestly, I feel like it's been Greg who's had the most hype. And I feel like that's because he's handsome. Like he's very handsome, that's obvious. But I gotta say, I myself am not rooting for him to be the next Bachelor, even though I have a feeling, you know, because I, I just trust pretty much everything Reality Steve says. I have a feeling it's going to be him. But here's the reason I am not about it. I just feel like he gave me kind of two-faced vibes. And I don't know if I want to see him in that position. There's so many, and not to say he's not a good guy, because I don't know him, but I just feel like there are so many other guys who would be so, so great for this position. I mean, I love Andrew S. I feel like he's a little young for The Bachelor. Um, to be in that position, you know, I feel like they're trying to go just a little bit older. Uh, I love Michael A. Like, would love to see Michael A. have this opportunity to find, like, another soulmate because we know how hard that can be but it's like it was such a challenge for him to be away from his son during the bachelorette process I mean I don't know what that would look like if he was the bachelor if he would be interested because he wants to you know just be committed to his son and maybe he still has like hardcore feelings for Katie I don't know but I also really like Justin I just feel like Justin's a little I'm gonna just say it I feel like he was a little boring like he's super super handsome and like charming and like the art thing is really hot but like I don't know if I think he would produce a super entertaining season so I don't know who I've been hoping for actually yes I do I've been waiting for Mike Johnson to be the bachelor for forever so if we could just <laughs> all decide that he was going to be the bachelor that'd be great Oh my goodness. No, I know it's been really difficult because I agree. I feel like those four names have been the ones that keep being thrown out there. Greg has, of course, received so much support from the people who love Greg, but there are so many people who don't love Greg. Uh, and Andrew S. and Michael A. have found a lot of support online, just in not really until they gave him that little moment. And after the final rose, I feel like that's when people were like, wait a second, do we really love Justin? But yeah, I have to say in my gut, I would was leaning towards it being Andrew S or honestly it may be being Michael A because it would just be such different television it would really be a whole new feel a whole new look for The Bachelor and it seems like they're going through this moment of transition you know maybe they would really want that I almost wonder if Michael A kicked himself out of the game by continuously commenting on those Instagrams of Katie's for a little bit. Maybe it made producers think that America wouldn't trust that he was ready. Maybe the sun, of course, was too big of an obstacle. Who knows what has been going on behind the scenes at ABC. But let's get into, of course, the Greg rumor. Because after Greg and Katie's explosive drama at the end of the season, it certainly didn't look like Greg was given the Bachelor edit, right? At least from where I was sitting, it did not feel like ABC was teeing him up to be the guy that all of America's hearts went out to and everyone rooted for him to have a second chance at love. They kind of painted him as the bad guy. But according to Reality Steve, behind the scenes, he might truly be ABC's top choice. Steve tweeted, what I've been hearing the past five days or so regarding the next Bachelor are this. Been told it's going to be Greg. Obviously, it's never official until ABC announces it, whenever that may be. But at this point, I would be very surprised if it's not him. He also added he's a polarizing figure that will have people talking which is what they want, but by all accounts and everything I'm being told, he's your next Bachelor. So I guess let's get the hot take machine fired up because here they come in full force. And Steve was right. I mean, the minute he tweeted that, fans started to go immediately back to their team, Greg. 
Team Katie positions. They definitely sparked debate on whether or not this was the right choice. Mariah, Steve, as we said, is typically right about this stuff. He certainly, you know, isn't going to tweet out, isn't going to risk his name on something unless he has it on good authority that this information is correct, that something is definitely in the works. So now that Steve has said it, how do we feel about Greg? If if this is confirmation that he's our next Bachelor, are you happy? Are you disappointed? What are your thoughts? I wouldn't go as far as saying I was disappointed because, listen, I was obsessed with Greg all Katie season until his last episode because it was at that mm -hmm. point I saw a different side of him. And I'm just going to say it. The girl in me who has been in toxic relationships, I was like, mm, I've been told that before. Mm, I've been told that, the, that before. So red flag after red flag. So I couldn't help but see him in a harsher light after that. So I'm not like thrilled. But if it is Greg, you know, like I said, he is very handsome. Like he's going to produce a very interesting season. Girls are going to be crazy about him. And it might give us a chance to like soften our hearts and our opinions towards him and maybe see him in a different light. You know, he was caught up in a passionate moment where he had made himself completely vulnerable. And who knows how differently I would have reacted if I was in a similar circumstance. So maybe it will be a good opportunity for people to kind of root for him again, the people who stopped rooting for him. I'm not necessarily on Katie's side or Greg's side. I saw both sides during after the final rose. So if it's Greg, I'm not going to like pout about it. It's going to be interesting and I'm going to watch every episode, obviously. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. I feel like throughout all of the drama, I also found it kind of hard to be Team Katie or Team Greg because I feel like they each had moments that, you know, weren't their best. They each made some mistakes. I have to say I was leaning more towards Katie overall. Didn't love their AFR confrontation. I thought she maybe took it a little too far uh, and didn't feel like Greg stood up for himself well enough in that moment either. But listening to him on Nick Vial's podcast did all already kind of bring me back around, help me understand, you know, why he acted the way he did, maybe soften my opinion a little bit. I am with you though. It was just such a stark contrast in the behavior that we saw for the entire rest of the season that it did make me a little uneasy. The one thing I will give him that I think a lot of fans out there would be willing to, of course, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys in the comments, feel like he really put himself into this process believing like I am in love with this woman. This is real. You know, if this is a real relationship, then she is the one. And of course, that's the kind of energy that producers, I'm sure, are totally looking for in a lead, right? Someone who's going to believe in their heart of hearts that this could be real love because otherwise, you know, the show doesn't work as well as it could. So maybe that's what really sold them on him. Who knows? Uh, of course, Bachelor creator Mike Fleiss hopped on Twitter to shut down the Greg rumors and also to promote his favorite beer. He tweeted, major announcement regarding The Bachelor. No official decision has been made. Stay tuned. Have a nice cold gluten-free omission beer. Uh, he also added, these decisions regarding our next Bachelor are complicated, like the complicated process that gives us delicious gluten-free omission beer. So interesting spawn situation there. I don't know, but just paying attention to the Bachelor of it all. Do we believe him, Mariah? Remember all of the back and forth about, oh, Katie's going to be the next Bachelorette. And then even Steve retracted that for a minute and then was like, no, it is going to be Katie. We're just getting a Michelle as well. I mean, at this point, can we trust Mike? What are your thoughts here? It is hard to say because when we compare it to what happened last time, you know, Steve ultimately was right. I feel like he's always been right. I mean, again, Guys, let us know in the comments of times that Reality Steve has been proven wrong, because I honestly don't know. But I kind of feel <laughs> if he says it, then it's law. Like, it's going to happen. I don't know who his source is. I don't know how he finds this stuff out. But maybe they do have an interesting new twist. Maybe it's going to be uh, two Bachelors, and they're going to have separate seasons, or maybe they share a season. I don't know, because that kind of gives me, like, MTV dating show vibes, where it was like everyone was kind of dating everybody. I don't know. There's a lot of different things that they could do. And I feel like Bachelor Nation is trying to create new and exciting elements, like new spins of the show to be to promote conversation and get people thinking and more involved. So maybe 
He is saying like no decisions, no final decisions have been made yet. It's very complex because they're going to hit us with something totally new that we haven't seen before. Yeah, totally. And of course, I mean, we have to remember that like these are ongoing conversations behind the scenes. Let's say it is Greg. Maybe when the conversation started, it seemed like it was going to be a surefire thing. And now he's, you know, wavering a little bit. He's not sure if he wants to sign on and commit to it. These are all humans, right? Making decisions. So there's a lot of room for human error here. But let's not forget that Mike has been toying with us about who The Bachelor is going to be for some time now. When Paradise was premiering, he was teasing fans that an official announcement was coming. He tweeted, might announce our next Bachelor during tonight's premiere of Bachelor in Paradise. Then he tweeted, waiting for final approval for the major announcement. Who will be your next Bachelor? But then he tweeted, don't want to steal thunder from my man, David Spade. We'll announce your new bachelor in the next few days. So like what happened during this night, right? Where he went from it's coming to not wanting to steal David Spade's thunder. I mean, is it possible that Greg behind the scenes panicked at that point and was like, no, 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 I'm not sure. Don't release it's me. I need to think about this more. Or was he just trolling us and there had been no decision at all at that point? What do you think, Mariah? Honestly, no, I don't think so. If anyone is going to have the tea, it's going to be him. So I don't think that he's trolling us. I don't think that he's joking. It is kind of unorthodox. I don't know if we've seen in the past the announcement be so kind of teased and then abrupt, like tweeted, by the way, this is who the next Bachelor is. So only time will tell. But if anyone has the tea, it's him. And I'm just waiting, waiting for just confirmation on who it is. Yeah, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, he certainly has all of the information that we wish we had. So I guess it is up to his discretion to tease us with it however he wants. Let's get back to the Greg of it all, though, because Steve is right. He is a totally polarizing figure right now in Bachelor Nation. As we've said, even in this video, people seem to love him or they seem to hate him. What's interesting, Mariah, is of course, we skipped over a bachelor season, right, to have two bachelorettes. And I think we've talked about this. We sort of assumed that after all of the chaos with Matt James's season, they just wanted to put the bachelor on pause, come back after some time, you know, working towards a totally unproblematic bachelor season. So I guess. Is this surprising to you that they would choose a figure like Greg, who I don't want to go so far as to say is problematic, right? But it's not like everyone in Bachelor Nation is united and jumping up and down about Greg. Not everyone is even sure about his character. Like, is this a unique choice from a production standpoint? I definitely think it is. Because when we go back to Katie, when we first found out that Katie was going to be the next Bachelorette, it was like, that makes sense you know, America loved her for so many reasons. I mean, of course, like anybody in the whole world, you're going to have people who like them and people who don't like them. You're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But I do feel like Greg is more, and yes, this isn't the right word, I agree, problematic, but he is because some people think he's a phony and some people think he, you know, is super genuine and deserves a shot at love. And I don't think that he's not genuine and he doesn't deserve a shot at love. I, I agree with what you said earlier that he... He did really throw himself into the process and he was he was trying to form a genuine connection and he did fall in love. I just don't like the way that he ended things. But I don't think that that makes him unworthy of being the bachelor. However, I do feel like it's going to it's going to create some of uh, some mixed conversation amongst bachelor fans whether or not he it should be in that position or if he should and he's going to produce a good show, which ultimately I do think it would create a good show. Yeah, I'm with you. I think it's just it is unique, right? Because from the Chris Harrison roller coaster to where we are today, one thing we've been saying pretty consistently is they don't have room for error right now. Like they have to show fans that they are committed to that progress that they promised us. And they also have to show us that they can produce a season without all of us at home checking our phones going what the heck was the decision making process behind this like how are we finding out things that you don't know so it's definitely interesting that they opted for someone like greg who i mean listen the rachel kirkconnell drama was a whole other thing but kind of started in the same way right tiktok started to emerge as greg an actor you know what are greg's intentions here so 
Very interesting decision, but I like to think that producers have a master plan, that they know some information that we don't know, and that behind the scenes there is a very calculated reason that Greg will be our next Bachelor. I definitely think he will be entertaining. Mariah, let's go with the argument here for a second that somehow this is all just a major misdirect, right? That Steve got some bad information this time around and that Mike is totally right. No decision has been made. Who else do you think it could end up being? Who is the next most credible, you know, candidate in line? It's hard to say, you know, just one person that I think if it's not Greg, it's going to be this person because we mentioned some incredible guys, Andrew S., Michael A., Justin, you know, we really love them. And I would be happy seeing any of them fill that position if it's not Greg. But also, I mean, I've already mentioned this. I would love to see Mike Johnson finally be The Bachelor. I think he's so deserving and, you know, good to look at too. But another wild card could be a fan favorite, Tyler Cameron, because we all know he's single now. He's on the market. I personally am not the biggest Tyler Cameron fan. I wouldn't love seeing, I'd rather see Greg as The Bachelor than Tyler Cameron. No offense to all you Tyler Cameron stands out there. Uh, I think, you know, his Bachelor days are probably over. I mean, I feel like he's got bigger and better things kind of in the works right now. So I wouldn't have my hopes up on that. But I think personally, if I'm going to root for anyone, it's going to be Mike Johnson. And if it's going to be from anybody from the most recent season, it would be Michael A. Because I just love, love, love him. Yeah, Mariah, I'm totally with you. And let's talk about Tyler Cameron for a second, because let's not forget, before all of these Greg rumors started, the minute that Tyler Cameron was confirmed to be single, the campaign started again. I believe some petitions were launched. Sources said it was a possibility. And of course, you know, the rumor mill is full of all sorts of information. How credible it all is, you know, only comes to light with time. But it could be very interesting if Greg was very solidly in the running and some interest from Tyler Cameron maybe complicated that decision behind the scenes for producers. So I feel like even after all of this discussion of all of the possibilities, I still kind of don't know. Obviously, my gut says Steve has a pretty proven track record. Greg could be it. But it does feel like there are a lot of possibilities in the air still, even at this very moment. Uh, you guys, as we keep saying, only time will tell. So in the meantime, we just want to hear from you. How do you feel about it potentially being Greg? Now that Steve has come out and said that looks like who it will be, who are you still rooting for if not Greg? Let us know down in the comments. And before you go, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any Bachelor updates. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Mariah Davis. If you want to come say hi, be sure to check out our socials. They are on the screen right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.